Welcome to this video on Power BI. In this video, let us take a look at how we can import data from Azure SQL database. Earlier in my previous video, I had shown a Databricks notebook where I was where I was uh, writing some data into Azure Databricks file system. So it is the same notebook that I'm going to refer now, but I'll show you a location where we are writing the data into Azure SQL DB. So this is the part where the data that was created as part of this Azure Databricks notebook. So this is the data set. So it is getting written into an Azure SQL DB. So I have my Azure SQL DB also open wherein you can see that I'm querying the student details table and it is going to show me all the rows that are present inside the student details table. Now I want to have this table accessed or imported uh, or connected to through direct query mode in my power bi so for the purpose of this the connector that i'm going to use is i'll go to azure and there's going to be an azure sql database connector which i can connect to so this connector is also available here we can also connect uh, connect using the general sql server connector also uh, azure sql database connector is also fine you can also use this connector uh, to connect to azure sql database so here it is going to ask for the server name so I have my server name here. I'm going to put that server name here. And my, I'm going to leave this database uh, blank because it is optional. I can type in my SQL query if I want. And I can also connect using import mode or direct query mode. So I'm just going to click on OK. So when I click on OK, it is going to take me to an authentication screen where I need to authenticate with the SQL Server database. So in my, in my case, I have already authenticated with the Azure SQL database. So it has directly taken me to this view where it is going to show me my server and database. I'll expand this. When I expand this, I'll get to see all the tables that are present inside uh, my Azure SQL database. So once my file system data uh, view and the database expands, I'll get to see all the tables that are present inside the database so i'm going to click on the student details i'll click on load so once i click on load this is going to load the data into power bi the loaded data gets visible in the data section of the power bi once the data is available here then it is very straightforward to start reporting on this data you can directly pull in this data and start reporting for your needs